What is Google's Project Treble? Why is it so important? Let's talk. What is the deal? Beautiful people, it's your boy Ramon, Lifestyles Defined. Welcome to another episode of AMA, How This Works. You leave your question in the comment section down below and we answer in upcoming videos. Today's question from Hassan T. Good day to you, sir. Uh, what is your opinion of Google's new project Treble? Will it have an impact or just another thing to be forgotten in six months? Well, uh, <laughs> project Treble is Google's attempt to sort of how do I explain this? It's such a complex thing to sort of, of, I guess, bring updates to everyone in a, a faster, more acceptable rate. So right now in today's world, the the update penetration rate for Android is abysmal. Uh, it's it's something like single digits. And I mean, it really is quite a joke. Versus if you look at Apple, Apple releases an update, uh, this thing penetrates like 95% within like days. And you know, you, you really have to do a lot of analyzing to understand why that is. And, and I mean, it's, it's quite an amazing feat on Apple's end because you can turn on something like uh, an iPhone 5S today and you'll get updates to probably the latest and the newest and latest update. And there's a lot to be said for that, not only about how optimized their software is to run with their hardware and and how that that everything goes together and play well together. Uh, but I mean, it's it's just a different it's just a different world from the beginning. Apple told AT&T to go fuck themselves. You can't control my updates. Uh, and that, I think that was a big stance that people in the android world and even the windows phone world when windows phone was around yikes <laughs> was uh was something that people were very frustrated at uh you know in today in android what you look at is this situation where uh google releases not even let's not even go as far as like security patches uh i don't even want to make it that die they release some new feature that's kind of cool and uh, it goes from them, it goes to the OEM. So uh, the OEM would be Samsung. And then Samsung says, okay, let me do this. Let me tweak it, make it work for my phone. And then Samsung then pushes it to all the carriers or the carrier, uh, the carriers who sell the carrier specific versions of their phone. So AT&T and T-Mobile then gets that update from Samsung. And of course, they then hold on to it and they want to throw their, their super sauce all over it. So by the time you get this update, it's already like months old. It's And it's, it's such a joke. It's such a security vulnerability. It's such a risk and it's so annoying. I mean, this is one of the things why I was so up in arms about Samsung because they were on stage uh, talking about the newest version of android on the, the the galaxy s7 i think it was and i had the s6 edge plus and i'm like Where, where's my update <laughs> and i mean almost a year later they were then getting the update that happened a year ago on the new phone so in the android world it's sort of like if you want the updates you got to just buy all new hardware and that sucks right and then you look at uh you look at I guess the um, the Nexus the Nexus used to be a really good uh, a cure for this because the Nexus was Google it wasn't Google it was a program it wasn't Google made hardware but it was Google supported hardware it was their you know it was their stuff whatever and they always pushed updates to that first so that was cool if you cared about that stuff you knew to get a Nexus and then uh, Google fucked that all up with the Pixel <laughs> because the Pixel is so much more expensive but uh, and then there's like there's Moto. Motorola did a pretty good job at pushing updates quick. Uh, I, I think HTC was actually pretty quick with updates. And I read somewhere BlackBerry wasn't bad. Uh, in my testing with BlackBerry phones, I didn't hold on to them long enough to actually see. But I mean, Samsung is just probably the biggest offender of this, and it sucks. So Project uh, Treble is Google's 
uh, Google's trying to attack this. And from what I can understand, because it's way nerdy and way geekier than I care to get, or perhaps my uh, my capacity, uh, they're attacking it from, uh, I guess they're componentizing the driver side of things. Uh, so instead of instead of bundling the updates with the OS and whatever, they're kind of taking the driver stuff away and centralizing that. So something like what we see now in with Windows updates where... Uh, you remember back in, in Windows 2000, Windows XP, it was a mess to get updates for drivers and whatnot. And then starting from uh, Windows Windows Vista to Windows, uh, Windows 7, 8, 10 now, uh, the OEMs don't usually, and they do, but you, your go-to place for a driver of a piece of hardware in your computer is, is not anymore the, the OEM's website. It's actually Windows Update. So when they package that driver, that driver information, they also submit it to Windows Update. So it gets pushed down to your phone automatically. And that's sort of similar to what Google's trying to set up. Uh, is it a big deal? I think it is, yes. Uh, because not only does it stop a lot of the vulnerabilities that are going around with Android with unpatched phones, uh, it also, it, it gives, it gives consumers direct access to newer features and annoyances that just happen on their phone that could be fixed with updates. So I, I think that's cool. Uh, will it address the Android fragmentation issue? I don't think so. Um, I guess it could to a certain extent, but uh, I think this is just one of those things. If you guys saw uh, the video I did about the Samsung and Apple and why Apple is Apple is pretty much because of the experience that you get as a consumer and silly things like this, not being able to get updates in the latest and greatest when you know it's already on the market, that all counts towards experience. And I think uh, Project Trouble is is Google's uh, is, is Google's responsibility to, or they're showing their responsibility to us to try to make it a better experience for the consumer. So I'm all about this. Will it be forgotten in six months? I don't, I don't think so. I, what's happening now will never be forgotten, but will it be effective in six months? I think that's the question. And, and it's one of those things that if they can get it right, cool, brilliant. And then we move on. So uh, we just got to wait and see. I, I mean, I'm waiting and seeing, right? I got my Samsung here. I've got one update since uh, and nothing else. And it's been holding fine. But I mean, you know, Google just got on the stage and announced a whole bunch of craziness. Uh, I want all that craziness on my phone in a month. So let's see what happens. Thank you much, Hassan, for your question. For everyone else, leave your questions in the comment down below. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We got plenty more coming. My name is Ramon. I'm out of here. Peace. If I had to describe lifestyles to find, I would say it is a dream come true uh, to have a platform where we can talk about the things that we love and we can share with people who also love the things we love the way we love. And just have conversations that matter and go back and forth and grow as a community it's it's been a pleasure it's been a dream and i just want to thank everyone that's involved for rocking out with us